Hello again. This video is for people who are new to block building, or people who want to find algorithms who are just starting out with the ZZ method. You'll notice that I've already done the EO line step. Um, all the edges are oriented, and I have my line. Um, if you want to find out how to do this, you should refer back to my other videos. During this step of the ZZ method, you have to build a block here and here. It's similar to the Roo method, except you have a line in the center, and you're restricted to making only R, U, and L moves. So you can never break up the line during this process. So we know that our white side is our bottom side. Therefore, the four corners that will be in our uh, blocks have to have white stickers. So the first thing you want to do in block building is find a corner with a white sticker. We'll take um, this corner here, for example. Now, what you have to do is find an edge which can be placed adjacent to that corner. So there, are, there should be only be two edges which you can use, and there's a third one which is in the line, but we want to leave the line intact. So our two choices for this particular corner is this edge because it has white and orange right here, and this edge because it has orange and green right here on the corner. So right now I'm going to choose to use uh, this corner and this edge. So our goal to make is to make um, a corner edge pair by pairing up the corner and the edge. And that will become part of our first block. So what you have to do is you first have to make sure that the corner and edge are on the top layer, but not next to each other. Right now the corner and edge are next to each other, so we have to separate them. So we're going to hide the corner by turning the right side down. Our corner's here now. We're going to turn the top to move our edge out of the way, and we turn the right side back up. So now we have the favorable configuration of separate corner and edge. Uh, there are a lot of tricks you can use if they're together. But just for a beginner tutorial, I'm going to explain the simpler approach. Okay, so now that our corner and edge are apart, and on the top face, we can join them um, by looking at them and seeing how they're oriented, and then applying one of a few cases. So, the first case that we have right now is that the unique color on the corner, which is not on the edge, is facing up. So the edge doesn't have a white sticker, but the corner does, and it's facing up. That's our first case. If you ever get this case where the unique sticker is pointing up, you have to hide the edge correctly, and then um, turn the top face to make the corner join with the edge. The second case you'll get is when there's both the same color on top for the corner and the edge. In this case, instead of hiding the edge, you have to hide the corner. So in our case, we will hide the corner on the right side, we'll move the edge into place, and we'll move the corner back. So now we've made our corner edge pair correctly. The last case you can get is um, if there are two different colors on top, and if the corner's unique sticker is not on top. Um, there's actually two subcases you can have for this. You can either have a difficult join up where it doesn't work if you do one move, or you can have an easy join up where you can join the corner and the edge simply by turning um, one of the sides. So if you get the um, difficult join up and you try to join it up and it doesn't work, then what you have to do is you have to move the corner to the other side and then you get another case. So here we have the same um, colors on the top. So we're going to hide the corner. We're going to move the edge next to where the corner will come up. And then we'll bring the corner up. And we have our corner edge pair. OK, so now that we have our first corner edge pair, we have to make our center edge pair to be part of our block. So we see that the only other edge that can be part of this block is um, white and orange because this edge is already paired, and the white-green edge is part of the line right here. So we find it on the cube. We see it's right here. 
And to make our center edge pair, we have to first <coughs> move the edge into the top layer and then turn the top so that the orange sticker matches with the orange. So now that we have a corner, corner edge pair and a center edge pair, uh, we can easily join them together just by aligning the two pairs and then just moving them into place. And then we can uh, move the block down so it's on the bottom. So this is our first block. I'll do a few more examples. So here's a corner with a white sticker and we can see that this edge will be in the block with the corner because it has green and red. This has green and red. So we see they're together. We can't join them up right now unless they're separate. So we'll hide the corner then we'll move the edge over here and we'll bring the corner back up. So now we have them separate on the top face and we see that there's two different colors on top and the corner's unique sticker is not on top. So we can uh, bring them together and we see that we have the easy join up case. Um, <clears throat> our center edge pair is already formed. You can see that this white red edge can be adjacent to this uh, corner that we have in our corner edge pair. And they're already aligned, so we can simply join them together and then put the block into place. Um, I'll do this one next. Uh, we have a white corner, and the edge, which goes adjacent to it, is here. So what you have to do is you have to bring the edge up so it's in the top face and not adjacent to the corner. So we'll move the corner out of the way, and we'll bring the edge up, like that. And then we'll bring this block down, back down. Um, so now we see they're the same colors on top. That means we have to hide the corner, um, like that. And now that we have our corner edge pair, we can add it to our right block. We align the block so we can join them together. We put it, the corner edge pair next to the block, and then we put the block back down. Okay, so our final corner edge pair uh, consists of these two pieces, and uh, they're together, so we have to hide the corner and separate the pieces. There's two different colors and not the unique corner color, so we are going to see that this is the easy pair up case. And um, our block is aligned, and we just join the corner edge pair and the block together and we bring the block back down. So that's our first two layers, and as you'll notice, we have oriented edges. Huzzah! For our last layer, we only have to learn a minimum of three algorithms. The first algorithm which I'll teach you is used to position the corners so that they're in the correct spots. Um, this algorithm is called Niklas. It's from Lars Petrus's site. And what it does is it switches the two left corners. So we see that this corner is positioned and this one is positioned as well. And these two are not in place. They need to be swapped. So we place them on the left and then we do Niklas. This algorithm is in my commentary. So if you want to see it, you can just go there. So after we did Niklas, all our corners were positioned correctly. <coughs> now, um, we have to use an algorithm called soon, which is also from Lars Petrus's site, and this is used to orient the corners while maintaining their posi uh, positions. Um, there are three different cases for soon. It depends on how many yellow stickers are on top. Right now we have two yellow stickers, and this tells us that we have to do, uh, we have to target a corner whose yellow sticker is on the right. Our target is always the left corner right here. So we see that this corner's yellow sticker is on the right, so we place it uh, in the target area, and then we do soon. So after we do that, we have another case where we only have one on top. And when we have one on top, we target it, so we place it on the left side, and we do soon again. And we have the same case again, so we follow the same rule. We target that one uh, corner with the yellow sticker on top, and we do it again. And look, all of our corners are oriented. <laughs>